Hello guys. Welcome to the Rocky Let's Play. A project I've been waiting to do for a little while. A little side project I've been a long time on my Switch 2 LP. This is Star Wars The Old Republic. And this is the troop. And surprise surprise, she's called Cordial. This is the main character that I, that I based Shepard off of. But this is a clone of that character, since the main character in question is level 17 or an object. Ah, there's not a feeling in this galaxy like riding a hundred ton walker right through the middle of a combat zone. I'm <laughs> kidding. Approaching Droliad Village, sir. Scope shows small arms fire and enemy movements in all quarters. Separatists are definitely moving on the objective. Another beautiful day on Ord Mantel. You excited, kid? Nervous? You know, you're the first new entry to Havoc Squad in some time. Of course I'm nervous, because I have to follow the set of footsteps of my mother. But I will do it, regardless. I'll fight the enemies of the Republic with everything I've got, sir. No need to call me sir. We're in the field. You can lose the formality. I'm Lieutenant Bex Kolos. But everyone in Havoc calls me Gearbox. We're a tight Ooh. unit. You'll like it with us. we tell you why we're here. The Separatists have nabbed the Republic bomb off a down transport, a serious bomb. One of those orbital strike numbers. There's no telling where these grimy bushwhackers have hidden the thing. They have popular support and hideouts everywhere. Finding this bomb won't be easy. No mission is too tough for Havoc Squad. Hope you're right, kid. That bomb goes off and the whole island's one big crater. You'll get a full op brief once we reach Fort Garnick. For now, just sit back and... Missile! A shoulder launcher from somewhere in the village! Everyone, hold! Driver! Driver! Blasted, he's down! Backwater Separatists aren't supposed to have armor-piercing missiles. They'll tear up every convoy that passes through here. If the Separatists want trouble, let's give them some. Sounds good to me, kid. Fixing things is my specialty, kid. I'm nowhere near the fighter you are. I'll stay and get this walker moving again. You'll disable the Separatist missile launchers. Understood? Understood, sir. The Separatists will probably have their missile launchers piled together in a cache somewhere in the village. You can bet that cache will be heavily guarded. Find the cache, disable the missile launchers, and then double-time it back here. Got it, Sergeant? The Seps brought plenty of body bags. They're gonna need them. Good luck out there, kid. My main character, in all things. However, you might be wondering, huh, how come you've got no, no mail to uh, Well, in order to gear up this character properly, ready for this recording, I had to open the mail to get some credits for doing some outfit design. Most of my characters will be using that designer, apart from one. Because... It should have to be level 52 before I can get that sweet armor I need for him. However... This character's ready, so let's go. I'm going to be doing every single class in the game for main story, only at first. But... I will leave it up to you guys after completing all the storylines as to which one will take it to the expansions. Um. So yeah, this, like I said, this is going to be a side project I'll have to go alongside my uh, Mass Effect 2 Let's Play. HQ, this is forward recon. Do you copy? HQ! Blast. Thought I had him. Sorry, soldier. Having a little trouble here. Actually, we could use that big gun of yours right now if you'd help us out. A crack separatist militia has taken over this village. So we're not talking dumb grunts and farmers. They've got experts in there with serious jamming equipment. 
Any ideas how to solve that problem? I figure I've got one option left. Ask you for help. My mission is to deliver recon on this village, but I can't report anything through this interference. I need those Separatist jammers neutralized. So if you're headed into the village anyway, maybe you can handle it for us. If you waste those Separatist jammers, report back here. I'll see if I can requisition some equipment you could use. At this point in time, I'm doing it according to head cannon needs and characters. At this point in time, Cordiel is only 21 years old. I'll tell you her uh, backstory while we fight some bugs. Basically, she was born on Marshadar to Valorian Hawk. Uh, Draymondo Pantia. Draymondo Pantia has no idea that she had existed until she turned up 20 years later. Valorian, however, was a hut slave at the time. And she did her best to protect her children while under personal authority. She managed to save Cordiel, two of Cordiel's siblings, being Lav... Lav Pantia... Lav Hawk and... Eleanor Satrika Hawk, the other one of Cord's siblings, Tutsuki Pantia, is with Draymundo. So that's that. However, after saving them, the Sith turned up and stole Cordiel before Cordiel was then forced to labour as a Sith slave for. 18 years, most torturous time in her life. But eventually, with the help of a rogue acolyte named Prayasiani, she escaped the Horaban. And, and, and stowed away on a shuttle to Drummond Cass where she met up with her uncle, who was captured by the Sith many years prior. And has been forced to work for the Imperial Intelligence. He contacted her father, which is where they first met, the two of them first, which is where the two of them first meet. And her father smuggled her to Coruscant, where Cordiel was reunited with her mother at the Academy. As, Valor as her mother, Valorian Hawk, was overseeing the training of several new recruits. And Cordiel nice work, happened kid. to be one of the got a talent, no I, am I, however. Whoops. Didn't mean to skip that. Anyway, as I was saying, Cordial was is in the latter stage of her training right now, where she has to go to a planet and complete a mission. Cordial has been chosen as one of the advanced tra trainees to join Fel's Fel her mother's own unit, Havoc Squad. Although we won't be seeing Valorian in this playthrough because this is only head cannon. It does tie into the main plot as we are in Habit Squad, so let's talk to our crewbies. Nice work, kid. You've got a talent, there's no denying that. I, however, didn't have much success. This walker isn't gonna be moving anytime soon. Don't beat yourself up. If it was possible, you'd have fixed it. Thanks, kid. Shame about the driver, though. Poor guy never had a chance. I'm gonna stay here and salvage all the goodies off this wreck before someone else does. You better head for Fort Garnick. Be sure to keep a lookout for Seps on your way to the fort. They can come at you out of nowhere. You sure you don't want me to stick around and cover you while you work? No, no, no I'll, I'll be fine. Hey, I'm not exactly new to this kid. Stay sharp out there. I'll see you later. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I should pick my discipline. Assault Specialist is the one I will be going for. 
Um. Back in the day, that was a game that that you couldn't get this back to the level 10. I mean, after that, you have to get a village point into a certain tree area. Which you find useful. But nowadays, you get to pick an advanced class at level 1. You get to pick a discipline straight out, and at level 10, all you have to do is utility points into an area which you feel is important to you. So like for example I'm using assault assault mastery. Because it's the one I feel most comfortable with. The rotations are pretty simple. Turn this quest in. Glad you made it back in one piece. Me and my squad owe you one. Thanks to you we're cutting through the separatist interference. Be reporting back to base in no time. Here. A little something from our private stock. Watch your hide out there, hero. I know we have this game on a little bit louder, but it is only 10 a.m. here in good old lighting. So I've got to keep it low key because I'm living in the student area and you know what students are like. Um. What we'll be doing is. The start of planet, that be Lord Mantel, Horaban, Hunter, and Typhon, and also Coruscant and Drummondcast. I will be doing every single quest I can to up, up my levels. And then after that, I'll be, I'll be just focusing on the main story. I do. Private Westner, 31st Recon out of Fort Garnick. Watch your head out there. Separatists deployed snipers in the area last week. Good snipers. Plenty of casualties between here and Fort Garnick. Those seps will shoot at anything. Who are their targets? Soldiers, vehicles, civilians, especially the refugees from all the war-torn settlements. They pass through on their way to the refugee camp outside Fort Garnick. Boom. Sniper bait. Most despicable thing I've ever heard. Yes, sir. 100% despicable, sir. Fort Garnick wants those snipers retired ASAP. Commander Frey even offered a week's pay to anyone who makes it happen. I'll kill this scum for free. Damn glad to hear it, sir. If you take out the snipers, report to Commander Frey at the refugee camp outside Fort Garnick. Good hunting. This I'll definitely get behind. Anyway, like I said, I'm just going to be bumping up levels for these starter planets, and then after that, just focus on the main story. I will do a couple of flashpoints along the way. I will do one between planet and character, and I will do one between chapters one and two. Other than that, it's just going to be main story all the way. If you want to catch me in game, normally I'll be playing on the Genesis side. The Genesis server. But, for these recordings, I'm using the Red Eclipse. So if you want to catch me during a recording, come to the Red Eclipse. If you want to catch me in game, normally, do some operation, throw a flashpoint, whatever catch me on the progenitor. guys. Stay on. Absolutely coming. Oh, sweet. Yes, I do have a trainer on me, but I want to save these levels for so I can get a trainer mission and get a bit more XP for level up. After that, I'll be using my first trainer. Got this, I've got that trainer as part of the events. 
that happened a couple of months ago. Basically, every character I've been here is a clone of my main character of Jennifer as a sort of quest from a fellow YouTuber of mine, Eric. So, and I thought, oh, if I'm cloning these guys over here, I will make a let's play. Once I get a good microphone and recording software and now I have reason the reason this is on the PC and the band is put bad quality on Mass Effect Let's Play is because I record Mass Effect on Sergeant, the Xbox. Good to see Havoc Squad colors in the field. Nasty fight out here. Can't tell friend from enemy half the time. Seps just take off their uniforms and blend into the villages. Still, we're Garnick's one of the better posts. Good for training, you know. Quality instructors at the fort? Got a combat instructor academy here, so the best of the best come from all over the planet. Get up and see Lieutenant Forrest when you get a chance. He'll help you survive in this craziness. Um, I record Mass Effect 2 on the Xbox and I haven't been to record that. I have to use a camera on my laptop. It's not very good quality. It doesn't capture the screen too well. Doesn't capture my voice too well. Which is why the Even Havoc Squad can learn from a veteran. My previous Kotor videos are so poor. But now I've got Kotor 1 and 2 on the PC. Stay sharp out there. For the dark side run throughs I plan, I might be able to do those on the PC with wraps. And get better quality videos. Let's post exchange around. You need it, we got it. Sell everything. Good luck out there. Because the only thing I'll be kneel needing are <coughs> sorry, I had to sneeze. The only things I'll be needing to grab are earpieces, helmets, shields, relics, and implants. Everything else I'll be modding. As I level up. So expect a lot of trips to the Republic fleet. On most of these characters. Like I said, it's only going to be one character. Oh, really? Like, there's a lot of light here at the moment. And like 12, 30 frames per second at the moment. Which is not that great. But. Now the frame rate's picking up a little bit. Excuse me, Sergeant. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but you're the new member of Havoc Squad, aren't you? Yes, I am. I'm Farn, sir. Private Farn. It's a real honor to meet you. Ord Mantell is my first post. I can't believe I'm here at the same time as Havoc Squad. And you're so... <laughs> or, what I mean to say is, um, sir, is that I wasn't expecting you to be, uh, woman, sir. Ma'am. Sergeant. You don't have any other female officers here on Ord Mantell, Private? Oh, uh, no, sir. It's it's not that. You're just so... Uh, I mean... Never mind. If, uh, if you don't mind me asking, sir, what's your mission here? Why would Havoc Squad be sent to Ord Mantell? We're Special Forces, Private. I can't really discuss our missions. Of, of course, sir. Right. I understand. Top secret stuff. I, uh, I won't take up any more of your time, Sergeant. I'm sure you have lots of really important things to do. You're dismissed, Private. Goodbye, sir. That's one thing I don't really like about stores that much, is the fact that no matter what gender you are, you always get called sir in the military. Right? What happened to the map thing? 
or just call them by rank, just call them lieutenant or something, or sergeant, whatever. Don't call them sir if they're a female. Yes, so if we focus our efforts on M Sector, I'm certain that... Sergeant, welcome, welcome. Good to have you here. I'm Commander Heron Tavis, Havoc Squad's commanding officer. We're all excited to have some new blood in the unit. Let me introduce you to the other members of Havoc Squad. My second-in-command, Captain Zora, is the squad's infiltration and assassination specialist. We call her Wraith. Sergeant. This is Fuse, Lieutenant Vanto Bazrin. He's an expert with every type of explosive in the known galaxy. Oh, uh, yes. Hello, Sergeant. Hello. Uh, good to meet you. And this is Needles, Lieutenant Ryler Durant. Needles is a medical genius. He's particularly adept at synthesizing powerful new combat stimulants and adrenals. Perfection is my art, Sergeant. It will be my honor to help you perform at your very best. And of course you met Gearbox on your way here, so that's everyone. People, this is the new sergeant I mentioned. Rank first in the academy in forward assault, search and destroy, and advance recon. It's good to have you, sergeant. Is it me? Am I the only, am I the only one that thinks this guy looks a little bit like Freddie Mercury? Commander Freddie Mercury. All I hear is Radio Gaga. It's a real pleasure to meet all of you. Now, the reason we're all here. A Republic transport carrying among its cargo a ZR-57 orbital strike bomb crashed in northern Avalotan six days ago. Recovery units sent a team, but they were too late. Separatist forces had already stolen the transport's cargo, including the ZR-57, and fled. Someone on our side must have tipped the SEPs off. Yes, we've considered that possibility, but we don't have time for a mole hunt. Recovering that bomb is priority one. The ZR-57 is... Well, it's serious hardware, you know? I mean, it can pretty much vaporize this whole island. So we'd better get it back or, well, boom. We're investigating several leads to the bomb's location. But the one I'd like you to look into, Sergeant, comes from a Republic spy named Bellis. Bellis reported making an important discovery, but he's too deep to exfiltrate for a full report. Instead, you'll rendezvous with Bellis in a nearby village called Talaran. Bellis will meet you in a small alley in Talaran. Find out what he's discovered, then return to base immediately, understood? I'll talk to the guy. I have one last introduction to make. This is Lieutenant Arik Jorgen, an operations officer from the Republic's Ord Mantell Infantry Command. Since we're on individual missions to search for this bomb, Lieutenant Jorgen is coordinating our efforts from here within the mission room. All right, Sergeant. I'll be overseeing your op through the camera mounted on your armor, so I see what you see. It's activated when you leave the fort. I'll make this completely clear, Rookie. When you're in the field, what I say goes. Period. I can handle myself, sir. The other members of Havoc have proven themselves on dozens of ops, Sergeant. You haven't. Just make your way to Talaran, meet up with Bellis, and find out what he knows without screwing anything up. Good luck in Talaran, Sergeant. Dismissed. You can probably guess that. I thought it having a big talk with Joe on God's way. Nobody talks to a daughter like that. Even if it's in the chain of command. Oh yeah. Duh. Got to turn in this mission. Naya Nukan, Kinim Naya Lak, Umnuk Mege, Analang Yang Perlo, Amka Kalami, Naya Kira Lebua, Karahini, Anika Nikak, Kinia Kak Anakuam Jam. Up, jump, jump. Level five. Post exchange around. You need it, we got it. Good luck out there. What I'm gonna do in terms of recording is that this may be Cordial, my baby, but this is my least favorite class. Command sending out new tactics all the time. So, what I'll do is 
Stay sharp out there. Each class, in order to have like at least the best, so obviously the trooper is first. I'm gonna end the recording here. Next video, we will talk to this guy, see what he wants, and also rendezvous with Bellis in Talaran. Until then, catch you later, guys.